are you ready? Probably not. As ready as you can be. Indeed. Thank you so much, Martin, to uh, give me an interview. We moved to Florida in 2008, and at this time you were 13. What do you remember? I remember it was a really weird change because I didn't know the language that well and I didn't have like any friends or anything. I didn't talk to people that much the first couple of years I was here so I would observe them and see how they acted, what they did and then eventually I would start doing the same and then I made friends. Well, you did it the scientific way. Apparently. It worked. Yeah. Your family told me you were quite a swimmer and that you were part of the swim team for almost seven years? Uh, yeah, I swam all four years of high school and I swam, I think, eighth grade also. So that was five years of swimming. It would be a lot of work because with swimming, I would usually wake up, go to school, and then go to swim after that. And I wouldn't be home until about eight. And then I would have to eat dinner and do homework. And it was a lot of work, but you get used to it after a while. In a month, you're going to go to college. What will you do? Uh, in college, I'm going to be um, hopefully also still swimming. And then I'm going to focus on my studies. I want to specialize in packaging engineering, which is a, basically they create all the things that have ever been in packages. When did you figure out that you wanted to become a packaging engineer? My dad talked to me about it and he said there's always a demand for him. So it'll be pretty easy to get a job and I wanted to be an engineer so I just looked it up and it sounded interesting. So where will you be going to school? I'll be going to Penn State. When you're not swimming or playing a music instrument, what do you love doing? Uh, usually I sit upstairs and play Xbox or I hang out with friends. What are your favorite video games? Uh, I play FIFA and um, Assassin's Creed. Any game I will play basically and I just really like video games. What do you like in the games the more? In the games, honestly, I like the um, difficulty level. If it's too difficult, I won't play it because then you just keep on dying and that's boring. But if it's like kind of difficult, then I like figuring out what I have to do. What's the favorite place you have visited in the US? Probably just Florida in general because the people here are really nice. They're awesome people and most of the time, you'll, you can go anywhere here and there'll be sun outside usually or it'll be storming, it's one or the other. But it's usually sunny and it's great and the beach is pretty close and it's just a pretty cool place to be. What is your favorite aspect about the US society? It's probably how close people are, like in their friend groups, because you get to drive when you're 16 here, which is a younger age than in Belgium. so. You could be like, hey, you want to hang out, and then people can like drive for like hours away and just hang out, and it's pretty awesome. You have been in the United States for about seven years. Do you feel American now? Uh, no, I don't really feel American. I really liked Belgium when I was there. I liked the atmosphere. I liked the people, and it was great. I loved it. So I, I try to keep the Belgian culture in me rather than going to like all American and being like, oh, football is amazing and all that stuff. If you could give a piece of advice to a fellow young Belgian moving to the US, what would that be? It would be to not change who you are just to try to fit in. Because then people will be like, oh, you're weird and blah, blah, blah. And then you won't like them. And then they won't like you. And then you won't make friends just because you changed. And then that's not really who you are. Well, thank you so much, Martin. I really appreciate your time. Showing up for an interview. Anytime.